After passing through the last segment of the small intestine, any remaining undigested and unabsorbed food material enters the large intestine through the ileocecal valve. The large intestine contains bacteria which is responsible for the synthesis of vitamin K and certain B-complex vitamins. It absorbs water and electrolytes from the undigested food and serves as a temporary storage site for waste. It also expels feces from the body, a process known as defecation. The first part of the large intestine is the cecum. It is located in the lower right quadrant. Attached to the cecum is the appendix. After entering the cecum, undigested food residue enters the ascending colon. It follows the path of the large intestine, which curves on the right side at the liver, at an area known as the hepatic flexure. As it crosses the upper abdomen, the colon is now called the transverse colon. It bends again near the area of the spleen at a curvature referred to as the splenic flexure. The colon then descends on the left side, and this section is appropriately called the descending colon. It finally takes the shape of an S, and this segment is known as the sigmoid colon. The remaining structures distal to the sigmoid colon are the rectum, anal canal, and anus. The anus has two sphincters, an internal one that is involuntary and an external one that is voluntary. The sphincters normally remain closed, except during defecation. As fecal material moves through the colon, water is reabsorbed from the feces across the intestinal wall into the capillaries. By the time it reaches the rectum, the fecal material has changed from a watery consistency to a semi-solid mass ready for defecation.